Foam nest construction and oviposition is initiated by the female in shallow water. Nest construction occurs during a series of alternating phases of activity and rest. Basket formation by the male is triggered by lordotic arching of the female. This signal position leads to the placement of the male's feet around the vent of the female, here also seen in ventral view. To allow better vision, foam and eggs were removed prior to the following scene. Egg extrusion is supported by the male pushing his tarsal tubercles against the upward pointing cloacal region of the female. As no more egg jelly is being added at this advanced nesting stage, no foam is produced by beating bouts, and eggs sink, consequently, to the aquarium floor. When the cloacae are closest to each other, the pigmented eggs appear and are inseminated. Foam beating and egg distribution within the foam occurs during alternate leg kicks of the male, which consist of rapid rotational movements of the tibia and tarsus perpendicular to the body axis. Up to 100 foam nesting bouts are needed to complete nest construction, which may last between 7 and 17 minutes. Single clutches contain up to 700 eggs and will dissolve completely within 40 hours after construction. Larvae hatch 24 hours after oviposition and metamorphose after two to three weeks. The explosive breeding system and rapid larval development are adaptations to the short, irregular wet season of the Kaatinga ecosystem. During the day in the rainy period and throughout the six to eight months dry season, Pleurodema diplodistris remains buried in soft sand at depths that are determined by the upper level of the soil moisture. <laughs>